Hi, my name is Jay Teramidji, and for my midterm, I will be conducting an interview of various people asking them what their perception of the Last Supper or Communion means to them. Okay. Okay, tell me your name and what your perception is of the Last Supper or Communion. Uh, my name is Haley Bilderback, and my perception of Communion is just um, kind of like offering um, our worship towards God and just, um, you know, using communion as remembrance. Um, the bread represents his body and, um, you know, whenever we partake of that, we're remembering him and worshiping him in that sense of, um, you know, thanking him for what he did on the cross and the blood represents the cross and the blood that was shed for us. Um, so whenever we partake of that, it's just showing our, um, I guess our just being thankful for what he did on the cross, so, yeah. My name is Shirley Taramidji, and I believe the Last Supper represents everybody getting together before the end. Last Supper, uh, it was a meeting that they called with Jesus, uh, I think Jesus just attended. It was really for somebody else. And uh, and it, Jesus knew that it was some people that kind of had done it wrong, but he still sat at the table with them and broke bread with them and everything. And it was like a, a surprise, you know, to the other people that, that knew that, you know, he was still there even though you know they had done them wrong that's that's what it, that's it what's your name <laughs> patrick <laughs> patrick <laughs> all right appreciate it all right jay daniels and i believe the last supper is it's the last meal before jesus uh had with his apostles before he was crucified that's you're, it. you're right my name is daniel allen and I view the Last Supper as Jesus' last time with his disciples, a time where he spent fellowship with them. Um, they broke bread and drank wine uh, right before his crucifixion just to symbolize his body being broken on the cross and the sacrifice that he made for us to cover our sins. All right, well, uh, my name's Rob, and uh, I would have to say but to me, the Last Supper represented the last time that the disciples and Jesus would be one in the flesh together. You know, Jesus said that this is my, this is, this is my flesh partake, this is my blood partake. You know, it was a representation of them being together for the last time as one because he knew that after that night that things would never be the same. Yeah. My name's Ray Cole, and I guess my definition of the Last Supper would be a final time for Jesus to speak with his disciples and obviously share a meal, and, but explain and I guess show what that meal meant. My name is Joshua Harding, and I take the Last Supper as being, you know, the chance that God gives us, you know, all the time to be forgiven of what our you know of our sins and uh, giving us a chance to be one with him um, and I mean it is a, it's a moment for us to take in consideration of what he's done for us and communion and you know understanding that he has what he's done in our lives and uh, making our a uh, making our sacrifice to him I guess you could say just in or respect and honoring him and taking communion so uh. um, my name is Matthew Teramidji and I think the bread represents his body and the in the wine or the grape juice or represents the blood he shed for us
And why do we do it? Why, what, what does all that mean? We take it, why? I mean, because we're servants of God. Mm. Okay. And how old are you? 13 and three quarters. <laughs> Thank you. Well, my name is Betty Termiji. And my what beautiful wife. it symbolizes is, is that um, when he brought his disciples to uh, for the Last Supper, it's rep representing him um, when he uh, sacrifices himself to us. Um, the bread um, is representing his body that was broken, and his blood is representing the wine. So we take communion in remembrance of him. Um, I believe that when you take communion, you have to be righteous first. You can't, not just anybody can take it, but... You have to be righteous and a believer of Christ when you take um, communion. So that's what I believe what the Last Supper and the communion is. Hello, my name is Gabrielle Paramidji, and I think the communion means when you are representing Jesus, our Lord and Savior, as a a symbol, a symbolism of how he um, sacrificed his life for us, and um, just like when we uh, give communion, like uh, symbolize of his blood and symbolize of his the bread for his 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 body, we are symbolizing the death of him. The definition. Just your own, what you what you think it it, it means. Hey, you put me on the spot, homie. Man, uh, that is putting me on the spot. I have no idea. To yeah, okay. be honest, like yeah, I think it's just something that you have to do. That's I mean, because I really haven't got into it. The meaning behind it. My parents, I mean, you gotta do this, so I did it. Communion and stuff like that. Okay. Okay, as you can see, based on the. Uh, the surveys of, um, I think there was eight or nine people that I, I spoke to. We got various results, some from just the end to uh, the representation of uh, the bread being Christ's body and the wine being his uh, blood and the sacrifice he made on the cross. Um, in Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 29, it says, While they were eating, Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now until the end, until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So Christ in his physical presence is not here to actually have the Last Supper with us. So to commemorate the death of Christ in Luke twenty two nineteen, he says, Do this in remembrance of me. So what I would what I would give as a as a definition of, of communion, um, it's a Christian ceremony, I guess if you want to give a simple definition. It's a Christian ceremony in which bread is eaten and wine is drunk as a way of shout, showing devotion to Jesus Christ. Obviously, in, in, in traditional churches now, it's not actually wine, it's more grape juice. Um, so, if I'm giving you what I think communion is, I think, I think personally speaking, that we're doing three things. Um, one, I think the act, there's an act or decision to partake in the communion itself, which is the signification of our acknowledgement of who Jesus is. The second thing is, I think the eating the bread and drinking the grape juice or wine, it's a seal or a promise that we make to him by, by doing that action. And third, with the fulfillment of communion comes the application where we apply everything Christ stood for into our lives and be a direct reflection of him in everything we do and say. So for me, communion, to signify, to seal, 
or the promise and to apply to believe to believers all the benefits of the new covenant that, that we have made with Christ that Christ has made with us um, in this ordinance Christ ratifies his promise to his people and they on their part solemnly consecrate themselves to him and to his entire service um, I think that this was a great project um, I really got to see um, what people thought where their hearts were where their minds were and um, it actually gave me a chance to sit down and, and to look inside and, and to get my own personal view on what I thought it was um, I did take take some time to um, do a little research as well um, but I really really appreciated this, this project um, so that's why I chose to do this this video in lieu of a PowerPoint I just felt it was a little bit more personal Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed.